the crowds rejoiced at all the marvelous deeds Jesus was doing. In today's gospel, Jesus is scolded by a synagogue official for healing a crippled woman on the Sabbath day. Part of this gospel is surprising because the crippled woman seems to be out of place since at that time women were segregated in the temple, off behind some kind of wall separating men and the women. The presence of a woman, even a crippled woman, may have escaped notice because she was not allowed to participate in the temple activities. She was, in a sense, invisible. So when Jesus goes out of his way to notice, address, and heal her, it was most unusual. The crowd is amazed at the miracle. The synagogue official is not amazed at the miracle, and he's very upset because he sees only a violation of the Sabbath rule, forbidding any kind of work. But Jesus asks some questions, for instance, whether it was legal to lead an ox to water on the Sabbath, which, of course, was per permissible. The official is determined that the healing was work because he was determined to condemn Jesus. What is noticeable and evident to all is the official's total lack of compassion for the crippled woman. For the woman, while being obsessed with, while being obsessed with prohibiting it, the healing on the Sabbath, seemed to be his choice of, and, and his reaction. The crowd there praised Jesus' mercy and rebuked the temple officials' narrow legalism. My friends, this, I, I believe, is a story of God's grace working in Jesus to fulfill all the, the words of, of Jesus and, and the gospel promises, even though the temple official becomes infuriated at what he sees. The good news of the gospel breaks through every kind of prejudice and liberates everyone to fulfill their potential. We pray through the gospel and in the gospel that this is true of ourselves, that by God's grace, we can achieve the potential that reflects his own everlasting love.